Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In our last lesson, we copied the JavaScript files over from the Assets folder and placed them into the JS folder on our website. We also inserted a couple of lines of code in our HTML document to point back to these files. So the source for these is pointing to the files that we've got in our JS folder. Now, if you're using your own resources and you've downloaded some JavaScript files from somewhere else, you'll need to make sure that the reference that you put in here for the source points to those files that you've added to your JS folder. You'll also need a few images to place in your banner and the dimensions of the one we're using are 900 pixels by 300 pixels. I'm just going to switch over to the finished website and here you can see that banner. So this is what we're working on and the animation effect that it has is what we'll be producing during this lesson. So let's get started. We'll go back to Dreamweaver. Now in my example I've got four different images that scroll through on that banner but at the moment I've only got one image as a placeholder. So this is my banner div and we've got that one image that we placed in to help us identify where we need to put our images. Now if we look in our image folder we'll open that one up we've got a fading banner folder in here and if I just expand that you'll see that I've got eight photographs in here and I've named them sequentially so we've got banner 1, banner 2, banner 3 and this is a good tip when you're creating banners like this or galleries is to name your files sequentially and then you don't have to go back every time to select different file names you can simply update the file from within the code so we've got one picture in here already and we need three more so I'm just going to click at the end and give myself a little bit of space and what I'm going to do is to copy this first line of code for the first image and then I'm going to paste three more lots of that code so now we've got four images although they're all the same at the moment so I'm going to change the file name here from one to two then we'll have three and finally four so we've got banners one two three and four and there are images now within the banner section I'm going to come up to the file and save that and I'll press F12 so we can see what's happened to our page here so this is the original file that we had and then we've got the second one the third one and the fourth one and they've all come in stacked on top of each other at the moment but we'll soon be fixing that when we start to format this with CSS another thing we're going to do with CSS is to make these images a little bit smaller so that we've got a bit of a margin around the image and it doesn't come straight to the edge of this wrapper div so we'll be reducing the size of these images slightly using CSS and we'll also fix this problem of the images lining up on top of one another. OK, so let's switch back to Dreamweaver. And we're going to open up the styles.css file. So we can do that from the related files at the top here. And incidentally, if your links to your JavaScript files have been entered correctly, you should also now see those in the related files area. So we've got the jQuery.js there and the jQuery banner JS file and they've been linked because we've entered these lines of code into our HTML. So let's go back to our image area. These are the four images and we're going to switch to CSS and if we scroll down to the container section we should see our banner selector in there and there it is. So we're going to add some rules here that will format our banner and stop those images from stacking up on top of each other. So I'm going to use a few lines of code so again I'm going to arrange this block of code so we can do that. 
and the first thing I'm going to do is to set the width of the banner. Now the width of our wrapper div that these images are sat in is 900 pixels. So we're going to give ourselves 10 pixels on either side. So we'll make the width of this banner area 880 pixels. So we'll say width 880 pixels. And we'll also set the height for these as well. So that's going to be height and that will be 300 pixels. We also want our banner area to display in the centre. So we'll do that using margins. So we'll type in margin and we'll set this zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And that will centre this banner in our page. Now, to fix the issue of the images stacking up on top of each other, we need to enter the statement overflow hidden. And that will stack the images up behind each other as opposed to being stacked on top. So we'll save that at this point and we'll come back and preview our file. So here it is with the images stacked up on top of each other and we'll refresh. And now you can see we've got that little bit of space around it. So we've got a little bit of margin there. We also reduce the size of the images slightly. And you can also now see that the other three images are actually hidden behind this first one. Now, nothing's happening with this at the moment. The banner's not animating. And that's because we need to do one more thing. We need to enter a little bit of script into our HTML document. I've supplied the script in the assets folder. So we'll minimize this one for a second and we'll open up our assets folder. So here's the John O'Dell assets folder and inside that we've got a subfolder called scripts. And if I open that one up, in there we've got a text file containing the script for the fading banner. So I'm just going to open that one up and we'll maximize that. So it's just a little bit of script that we need to insert into our HTML document. So I'll highlight that and copy. Now we can get rid of that one and switch back to Dreamweaver. And this code needs to go into our HTML section and it needs to go within the head. So we'll place it just before this closing head statement. We've got another bit of script here that's used for that rollover effect for the two images that change from black and white to color. So I'll place my cursor at the end of that script and give myself a couple of returns and then I'll paste the script that I just copied in there. So this is a, again a JavaScript script type and this is what will actually fire off our animation. So we'll save that at this point and we'll switch back to our preview and this time when we refresh our banner should start to fade and there it goes so that's now going to scroll through those four files that we looked at that's the third one and then there's the fourth one so it's just going to roll through now with this fading effect and each of those images that we placed in there are going to be showed one by one. We could put more images in there if we want to. We could put 10 or 12 images and it will scroll through all of those images. I'm just going to minimize this one and go back to Dreamweaver. So we've pretty much completed our index.html document now. And we're going to be using the same code on our about page. And if I just come over and open that one up. There's our about page. Let's just have a look at that one in the browser. Now at the moment we've still got this original image that we put in here and we're going to update that in the next lesson. We're also going to put a slightly different animation effect on this one. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.